Hey everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. <laughs> wow, I'm back for my uh, post-market wrap-up, and I'm being very sarcastic here on this lovely day. Um, Wednesday, May 30th, 2018. So, was it a lovely day for the stock market? Yeah, very lovely. And, and you shouldn't be surprised about this at all. Uh, I, I said yesterday that that big 400 point sell up was a buying opportunity. Well, today the stock market did finish higher by about 300 points. It was up higher than that at one point, like 340. I think we actually finished up with regard to the Dow about 306. Now, to mark my words right here and right now, you have a pen and paper? Write this down. Greg Manorino says that, t that today, all right, you know the date, I just said it will be a day that lives in infamy going forward. Uh, seriously, now what could I possibly be talking about? Okay. Um, with a show of hands, get your hands up. Get your hand up, okay. With a show of hands, how many of you believe that when it comes to these financial markets, there is such a thing as coincidence? Get your hand down. Get your hand down. Doesn't happen. There's no such thing as coincidence here in this market. You know that. It's managed and it's rigged. Now, let's cover a few things here and why this is going to be a day that lives in freaking infamy. How many of you are familiar with the vocal rule? Let's just, let me just outline that real quick for you. The vocal rule was put in place after, of course, after the last meltdown of 2008. This was to kind of prevent banks and other financial institutions from getting involved in speculative trading using their own money. Sounds all well and good, right? Uh, then how come we had to bail them out? Well, guess what? This is why this day is gonna live in infamy. Uh, this vocal rule is uh, going to be scaled back. So now these financial institutions, once again, are going to get involved in speculative trading using their own money. Okay, so it sounds good on paper until you are forced to bail them out once again. That's why this day is going to live in infamy. Now, here's the coincidence part. Bear with me here. It is no secret that there's issues regarding the banking system in Europe. As a matter of fact, yesterday's sell-off in the market had a lot to do with that and their exposure to debt and derivatives. Same thing here with our banks as well. Again, this the whole banking system. It's not separated into European banks and U.S. banks and Chinese banks. It's all connected. You know that. Okay. So, yesterday, you know, big sell-off in the market, all this talk about, you know, political reasons why the market was selling off. Meanwhile, the financial sector got hit the hardest and our banks here in the United States took a bath. Um, they got hammered. Today, it, that whole thing kind of turned around, especially after the announcement of the scaling back of the vocal rule. So do you think that was a coincidence that there's now a developing, and it's no doubt about it, unless you live under a rock or have no, absolutely not even one functioning brain cell, that there is an issue here with regard to global debt and the bank exposure to it? Okay. So you believe it's a coincidence that right now, today, after yesterday's sell-off and the issues that are going on here in Europe, that they want to scale back the Volcker rule now? Congratulations to you uh, on this day my lovely friends, because you and I are now going to get stuck on the hook again. And how are they going to bail it out next time? By confiscating cash out of our accounts. That's it, because they can't do anything else. What's the Fed going to do? They're going to start printing cash out of thin air? Again, they can't do that. They've already inflated a debt bubble by doing that. That's the whole problem. So they're going to find a way, and they've done this before. They, they had a test run in Cyprus where they actually put, took people's cash. Well, you remember that? It's kind of far enough right now out of people's memories because they have very short attention spans and they know that. Um, so that little test run, uh, you know, and people didn't really do anything because they're powerless to do anything. What are you going to do? Let me ask you, seriously, what can we do here? I personally am furious 
that they are going to repeal the vocal rule or scale back the vocal rule right now and allow these institutions that got out the entire world. Let's think about it. These institutions got the entire world in the financial crisis of 2008. This was part of it. The vocal rule was put in place to prevent it from happening again so you and I and everybody else doesn't have to bail it out. So who's at the helm today? Let's see, maybe that's President Trump. Uh, <laughs> I'm not even going to go there, but you make up your own mind, okay? Uh, I was a Trump supporter, uh, but as far as I'm concerned, he's, he's shown his true colors here, people, allowing, again, these companies to repatriate their cash here to the United States just so they can buy back shares of their own stock, prop up the stock market, and then at the other side claim that they're doing this to return capital to shareholders. Well, if that were the case, you know what I'm going to say. All they would have to do is raise the dividend. No. So they're buying back shares of their own stock. We've never seen this before. Okay. Now we have the vocal rule getting scaled back. How many of you <laughs> believe that President Trump had nothing to do with this? In fact, I think this was part of his campaign promises that kind of maybe flew over most people's heads. I'm very disappointed, very, very disappointed in, in, in this whole thing here, only because it's going to be the people again who are going to suffer. And let me tell you something. You know what I'm going to do? Let me, let me explain something to you. Um, when this whole thing melts down again and people are out in the streets crying and belly aching about their fallen caves and cash that they lost. I'm going to laugh out. You see this window behind me? I'm going to open it up and I'm going to laugh so hard. Uh, it's probably going to cause vibrations in the, in the concrete outside. That's the truth. People are so dumbed down at this particular time. And never before in history have we had a population, a global population, but more so here in the United States, that is frankly incapable of, of uh, thinking higher than the level of maybe a third grader, and I'm talking about adults here. So this is pretty pretty scary. And, and you know, no one's going to bat an eye, no one cares about this. Vocal rule, oh my goodness, what is the vocal rule? Is that like some kind of vocal rule? Is that something I use to, to measure, uh, I don't know, how, how far it is from the crack of my rear end to the ground? I mean, seriously, that this is, people have no clue. None. And that's why they're taking advantage of like this, and it's going to happen again. So mark my words, today, a day that will live in freaking infamy, people's truth. All right, with that said, I'm going to end this lovely video. I hope you found it enlightening. And if you do think it was enlightening, uh, how about, if I can ask you for a little favor here, get it out there. Let people hear this stuff. So then when I'm outside this window laughing my ass off, am I allowed to say that here? Hey. I don't care. It's, it, this is my room, my silly computer. I can do it ever I want, I guess. But when I'm out there laughing, well, at least they're going to know why. So uh, share this video, please, and uh, give me a thumbs up if you believe what I'm saying here has any bearing on reality. All right. See you in the morning. <laughs>